Nigerian soldiers, recruiting women soldiers to deceive the world that they are Eastern Security Network. Hello viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Now according to the news, coming to our desktop today, It says that the security agent are now recruiting young women soldiers to pretend to be ESN just to let call the indigenous people and to continue to put Mazen Namdekano in danger. after they might have committed some atrocity. If you take a look of this young girl, or should I call her young lady, and the soldier man moving together with her, you will find out that this picture with the other one where the same soldier was training young boys in Ibo land at the center. Meaning that what Nigerian soldiers does right now is to train young youth after they might have tried train threatening them in one thing or the other. You know, in life, nobody will say that he has not committed the next crime, no matter how small it is. Crime, no matter how small it is. So what they are doing right now is using the crime you committed years ago to oppress you, to threaten you, to accept being part of them. What I'm saying in essence is that they are not threatening innocent evil people. Not only but some of them are even flanny. To use them to ridicule ESM and indigenous people. That is, after they might have committed some crime. This is first one. The next thing they will do after training them is to use them to commit one crime or the other. And after that, they will tell you and the public with the word that these people are ESCN created by Mazen Namdekan. And look at what they have committed, look at what they have committed. Just like they are doing in the case of a non government that they created. When they use them for something evil, they will turn around and claim that it's not a non government, rather it is ESCN. They are doing it. With the locals. That's what they are doing right now. This is what Buhari told them to do. That thing, Nasorok. This is what he told them to do. And this is what they have continued to do. Every security you see happening today in our land is the handwork of Nigerian military, the DSS, and the police from Flan Extraction. Though some Igbo police house are not collaborating with them. All this whole thing is just to bring chaos in Ibo land there to stop the restoration of Biafra. Something they know that they cannot stop. Can they open? Tell the world the truth. How many people they have murdered in Ibo land to date? Upon that, they have not been able to stop Biafra restoration. So what makes them think that they can stop it? No matter what they do, they will never. I told you from the beginning that everything happening today was planned by Buhari government, the APC, and some Igbo leaders in conjunction with Buhari, uh, British government and Kenya government. But it baffles me that after everything, after the killing in Nugu State, the massacre, because this is happening in Nugu State, after the killing, the massacre, They still continue 
to fool themselves around. They can see what happened in the Bolatin Bulls uh, rally. No doubt, these are rented crowd, paid. But these are also any good people. They are killing you, and you are going around obeying their useless order. Is it not obvious that you guys are not serious? Especially those of you who claim you want to new Nigeria. They can see what is happening. Does Bola Dinibu represent new Nigeria? We are waiting for all of you. After your initial Grakara and their last Grakara, who will see us with the end. I don't have anything against anybody who wants to be a president of Nigeria, who is aspiring to be a president of Nigeria. But what I dislike is when people are using Biafra struggle or trying to rubbish Biafra, Biafra struggle like Peter B. just did. You may not believe in the struggle, but you cannot come out and tell the public that the Biafra struggle ended 52 years ago. Did you fight Biafra war? The answer is no. So you don't have right to utter any word about Biafra being ended or not. You are not the Igbos. You are just one person. Though your opinion is for you alone. But when you extend it by saying that Biafra is ended, that is where I get it so bad with you. Why I'm bringing this topic is because with what is happening, how they have continued to recruit our brothers and sisters, soldiers, they use them for different things in our own land. They molest them. They force them into obeying what they want them to do. Just like what you just saw. The girl they are moving around with, a military girl, if you look at her cap, her logo, in the head, maybe they forgot to remove that. They never expected that people would detect it. If you look at the hair, you will find out the Nigerian military something on the staff that she was tired. Should I say that she tired? This is what we are talking about. UN and the USA government, EU, international communities, should understand that we can never be jokers. We meant what we said when we said that we want a referendum in a balloon box. They have continued to keep adamant and quiet why this atrocious Buhari government has continued to commit atrocities against innocent indigenous believing that one day they will oppress us to the extent maybe we will forget Biafra restoration but too bad they should listen there from me that nobody nobody can stop the restoration of Biafra we are willing and ready to achieve our end. And for their so-called Nigerian soldiers who have been busy recruiting some shit just to make sure that they frustrate this struggle by lying from the other side of their mouth, they are big jokers. Just look at the guest staff. You will understand what I'm talking about. After seeing the guest staff, then look at the so-called uh, logo of 82 Division of West African Activities. Just look at this logo. You will see the same logo. is the same logo in the guest staff. Tomorrow, they will tell the war powers and the EU, your United Nations, that uh, this girl was captured as Eastern Security Network or they have already started saying it. 
Whereas this girl is a military girl that they use just to set ESM up. And they are parading her that she is an Eastern Security Network. Whereas she is a full blown military girl. Look at her. Look at the logo. 82 Division. This is their logo. And this is the logo in the girl's staff. Time has come when we have to continue to expose these people that call themselves Buhari government. Terrorist flag government. They are criminally minded. And we should say it the way it is. And for those of you who claim you want in Nigeria, too bad for you. By the time Tinubu become president, you are going to see the other side of Buhari. Buhari is, is just even very small to what Tinubu would do. With that terrorist that call himself Shetima around him, he will be controlling him and you will see hell upon you Nigerians. No matter what you say, I believe freedom is the right thing to do, achieve, as far as we are concerned right now. If we are here waiting for one president to make Nigeria a better place, you are wasting your time. You are beating a drum that you cannot dance. Nigeria is destroyed and cannot be a man. Jay Biafra.